I will give you a short overview of um, the Rüdiger Berg case, which is the first, um, let's say, moderately complex terrain case that we going to provide as a benchmark in the Meso Micro Challenge Phase Two. And um, yeah, the site is located in central Germany. It has a slightly complex forested terrain and hill. So um, on the left here, you see the lower left, you see the terrain rights, which is rough around 200 meters in the surroundings and up to, let's say, around 400 meters on the hilltops. Uh, we have four wind turbines close to the hilltop, but they are not part of this uh, benchmark. So we try to evaluate sectors where there's no impact of the waves. On the right side, you see the uh, forest heights. So you can see that especially the hill and um, scattered parts around the hill are um, forested in with forest heights in the order of 30 meters. Um, similar to the um, Alais experiment that um, Javier pre presented just a few minutes ago, we uh, had a one-year campaign at um, the Rödeser Berg site where two MEDMAS were deployed, one in the southwestern corner, 140 meter MEDMAS, which is shown here in, in red, and a 200 meter MEDMAS that is on top of the hill, and a number of profiles that were along this transect, but they are not um, important for this phase of benchmark. So the experiment concentrated on the southwesterly winds, which is also a prevailing wind direction at the site. For this benchmark, we will provide a time series of this 140 meter mat mast in the inflow and a 200 meter mat mast time series, or let's say the wind statistics at this uh, 200 meter mat mast are to be derived. Um, the benchmark will focus on more or less all site assessment models. The target quantities are the wind, annual wind statistics at two sites. And uh, for comparison, we have um, the mat mast data from 140 meters and the 200 meter mat mast. So um, in the upper panel, you see um, a view from the reference mast to the target mast. And in the lower panel, the um, picture of the, of the 140 meter mast, that's the reference mast. Um, we will provide wind and stability time series um, so wind means wind speed and uh, direction, of course, and also the um, stability in terms of the Oberkopf lengths at the reference mast. Terrain data that includes a detailed description of the forest and optional also mesoscale forcing data. The evaluation will then focus on bind wind statistics at the target site, so at on top of the hill. Um, we will analyze the data, um, or you, will, you are asked to provide um, annual quantities in terms of bin averaging of the wind direction for the wind speed ratio, turbulence intensity, and we will calculate an annual energy production and also shear exponent. There will be three stability classes to be uh, simulated and analyzed and uh, in 30 wind degree wind direction bins. The analysis, analysis will focus mainly on the winds from um, south to southwest um, to minimize or exclude the impact of the wind turbine wakes that are that you saw in the pictures also are quite close to the um, to the target mat mast. However, you are invited to um, provide also the full wind statistics of all sectors and um, for other comparison. The, we will provide a Python script um, that um, will be on the server where we provide the data along with the input data to also ease the evaluation process and um, to help you to write the benchmark results to a standardized format. Um, the submission of the results will be in a B2 drop folder as a single zip and tar file. And, um, we ask you to use a unique naming, um, describe your modeling setup in as much detail as possible. So what model type, resolution, forest parameterization, which is 
probably important at this site and also the type of the um, model you are using. Um, we strongly encourage industry participation and uh, nothing will be published without an agreement of the benchmark participants. All uh, general information and also the description in much more detail than presented here is uh, on the Windvane blog already. Um, there's also a blog entry on the Meso Micro Phase 2 benchmarks in general that coincides more or less with the presentation that Javier gave before. Um, on that blog, you can find the links for the input data that is provided for the benchmarks and also where to upload the results. Um, I strongly encourage to um, put comments and questions on the benchmark directly on the Windvane blog so that everyone um, can see it and discuss it online and so improve this benchmark as well. Or um, in case you don't want to use this function, you can also email me. Um, we will start the benchmarks basically now and allow at least a month for clarification and discussion um, on the Windvane blog for you to uh, yeah, probably make the description a bit more precise um, in case there are uh, open questions. The final submission of results will be by the end of January and we plan to present um, the results at the Wind Energy Science Conference in June um, next year. I want to close this short presentation. Um, as said, you can find much more information on the Windvane blog, and I really encourage to read that. And I have to say many thanks to the measurement guys. That's mainly Fraunhofer, AEE, and DTU, but also um, other partners that provided uh, measurement um, instruments and data for the um, campaign.